Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you how I made my overlap dress, and I'll be using two and a half yards of fabric to make this. I I won't be needing a lining in this tutorial, and I will also be needing another plain black material to complement it. And we'll be needing the under bust and the full length, the shoulder, the sleeve, the round sleeve, the bust circumference, under bust circumference, the waist, and the hip circumference measurements. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button, and don't forget we upload both the cutting and the sep and the sewing separately. So if you're watching the cutting you need to watch the sewing if you're watching the sewing you also need to watch the cutting so let's move on i'm going to start by turning the neck of the back i'm working on the back first so i have my facing just the same material you can place the fabric to cut out this so i'm going to turn then i'll notch and top stitch on the facing material then i'll be done with the back we can now move to the front I'm going to weave the the base. I'm going to weave the base, then I'll hem on my fabric. All right, the front now. Okay, so to get to create my design first, I need to hold it down with my pin, and I'm going to turn it in and top stitch on it. Next, I'm going to place the other parts of my design. I've placed it on the on my fabric and need to hold it down with the pin. So now I'm going to top stitch on it. next is to turn in the facing so i'm going to turn the neck the sides and i'll do the same to the other side
next is to bring out is to join the shoulder so after joining the shoulder i'll bring out the shape so i'm going to use the facing from the back to turn i also use that of the front Okay, so bring up, before bringing out the shape, I need to get the darts. That will be from below the bust. I'll measure down to the under bust, which is 12 inches. I'm bringing out a waist dart. So to the waist, I have the length of 20 inches. 20 inches. And the dart from the middle is 3.5. It can be 4 depending on the size. So I have my 3.5 inches. The same thing on the other side. So still my 3.5 inches. I need to hold my dart after which I'll bring out the shape. All right, so to bring out the shape, that should be your measurement, your circumference measurement divided by two inches. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is to work on the sleeve. And the base of the dress, first I'll need to hem, then I need to, to weave the base, then I'm going to hem it. I'm going to fold it, and I'll just fold it, and then I'm, I'll hem. Um, well, I have a video video on how to use hemming gum. So you, you can either use your hemming gum or you use your needle and thread to hem the base of the dress. So let's work on the sleeve. First, I need to turn or fold it in just with one inch. You can also hem this as well. Then I'll bring out the round sleeve measurements 
the round sleeve measurement is 10 inches and divided by 2 is 5 so I'm going to measure my 5 inches then I'll attach the sleeve to the dress Alright, so the base of my dress, like I said, I'm just going to weave. Alright, so the last thing to do is to first weave the base of my dress, then I'm going to hem, like I said. So we have a tutorial on how to use your hemming gum. So you can watch that. In case this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button and the bell to get notification for our upcoming tutorials. Alright, so I guess all that is left to do is to weave, is to hem the inside. I need to hem this as well, and also to weave the inside of my fabric and to iron properly in order to have a neat finish. And I'm going to have my button and my button holes, which is going to be the last thing on my dress. So I guess this is the end of our tutorial.